What up y'all? This is going to be a beginner's guide on how to use agent mode in ChatGPT Atlas. If you've ever wished ChatGPT could actually do what it says, like click around, shop, or plan things for you, this is the feature that finally makes that happen. So first off, ChatGPT Atlas is basically OpenAI's new web browser. Think Chrome, but with ChatGPT built in. In agent mode, that's what lets ChatGPT literally browse the internet for you. You can tell it something like plan a beach trip, find hotel deals, and add sunscreen to my cart. Then it'll open the sites, click buttons, fill out forms, and show you every step before doing anything. It's like watching your browser get possessed by a really helpful ghost. All right, so to actually use it, open ChatGPT Atlas, also note, right now, it's only for Apple Silicon Macs. They have said that they're working on Windows and everything else, but as of time of recording, Apple Silicon only. You'll also need to be on the Plus, Pro, or Team plan of ChatGPT to access Agent Mode. So once you're in, look for Agent Mode. For me, it's always the first option right below the search bar. Click it. So you'll see, obviously, this cursor, and it'll say highlighted in blue, Agent Mode. And next to it, you'll also notice Logged Out, where you can be logged into your accounts or logged out. This is a new feature. I would personally stay logged out for the time being just in case it makes any mistakes. So once it's on, just speak to it normally. The trick is describe what you want done, not how to do it. So maybe find a weekend getaway in Miami under $500 and list three hotel options. Or make a dinner plan and add all ingredients to my grocery cart. Hit return on your keyboard or click the white arrow. Atlas will actually write out a preview of these steps so it's gonna start clicking scrolling as you can see it's adding baby red potatoes right now and you can see kind of what it's thinking in this black bar next to the arrow and if at any point you want it to stop right here you can click stop or click take control so if I want to stop it over on the right side it says it stopped thinking and I want to say also add in a cheap healthy fruit then i'll click the blue arrow and it will resume and when it's done it will give you a summary of what it did on the right side i've drafted a dinner plan for a balanced sheet pan lemon herb chicken meal with roasted vegetables the recipe uses bone-in chicken thighs baby red potatoes carrots yellow onion olive oil fresh lemon garlic dried rosemary dried thyme salt pepper and fresh parsley a combination highlighted in recent recipes i also selected bananas as an inexpensive healthy fruit to round out your meal i started adding these ingredients to your walmart cart but when i tried to add dried thyme I don't know how to say that. I was redirected to a login page and your cart session was reset. Walmart is now prompting for your phone number or email. Please sign in so I can finish adding the remaining items, dried thyme, salt, pepper, parsley, and bananas, and verify that everything is in your cart. Please let me know once you're logged in or if you have any changes to the plan. So pretty useful. Obviously, I would then need to log in for it to continue, but I think you get the idea. Let me give you a few quick tips to make agent mode way smoother. Start small. Try it with simple tasks like planning dinner or summarizing a web page. You can use incognito mode for anything involving personal info that keeps cookies and passwords out of reach. You can ask it to remember things like find that article I read yesterday. Atlas can recall past pages if memory's on and stay in control. It'll ask you before doing anything sensitive, but double check anyway and be patient. It's still a preview. OpenAI even says it might misclick or stall, which is why I recommend just staying logged out because it is so such a new thing. And there you have it. Agent mode is honestly the most exciting step forward to me since ChatGPT itself. It's not perfect, but it's already powerful enough to handle a ton of everyday stuff for you. So go test it out, let it plan something small, automate a boring task, or just explore what it can do and see how far this new version of ChatGPT has come. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments. And also in the comments, put any ideas or questions you have. ChatGPT Atlas has been been super interesting to me so I'm basically down to make a video on anything about it and since this was kind of beginners overview of agent mode I was kind of thinking of doing a more advanced demo and tips and tricks of agent mode if you're interested in that let me know in the comments and that's about it see ya